Hello everybody, welcome once again to our online feast. This is Feast Valle Verde, your family where love overflows. Because we believe that God is with us and God's love is overflowing. Amen. Friends, thank you for joining us. Thank you for tuning in, tuning in and, and joining us here at our page in Feast Valle Verde. Um, especially today, because today we begin the holiest of all of all occasions of our Catholic faith. Holy Week. Grabe, no? Holy Week now, brothers and sisters. And of course, today we start with Passion Sunday, otherwise known as, ta-da, Palm Sunday. <laughs> Munti ko nang kunin yung dahon sa likod, no? Buti na lang may nakuha ibang halaman. At ito po, may dahon na po ako para sa Palm Sunday, you know? Sabi po ng simbahan, kahit anong dahon pwede, in place of the palms that we usually do, uh, or use for Palm Sunday. So I can just imagine why we gave away nothing, guy Lord, no? Siguri makas in yung meron tayo, yung sa kusina na, yung luluto mo sana, no? Why why mo yung kangkong, yung pecha, hindi ba? At saka yung malunggay, ganyan. Well, anyway, kahit ano naman, importante we we open our hearts and we welcome Jesus, right? We say Hosanna, save us, Lord. Uh, you are the, our Lord of Lords, our King of Kings this Palm Sunday. Amen? Friends, once again, thank you for joining us. It's really a, a blessing that we have you with us. We may be in quarantine, but we're uh, quarantined that we have physical distance, but we don't have spiritual distance. All right? We we are connected with one another. Hindi namin kayo nakakalimutan, brothers and sisters. Hindi namin kayo nakakalimutan ipagdasal, especially, especially now, uh, in the midst of everything that's happening. We really need prayer. We really need connection. Talking about uh, yung pagkalimot, uh, may kwento akong alam. Uh, sabi, sabi nila, may kwento tong sa dalawang tao, mag-asawa, medyo elderly na, so mga kalimutin na. Sabi nung doktor sa kanila, para hindi kayo makalimot, isulat nyo yung gusto nyo maalala. So one day, yung babae, sabi niya, Han, kunan mo naman ng soft drink, dyan lang naman sa kusina. Sabi nung lalaki, oh sige, sige, kunan kita na soft drink. One soft drink coming up. Tapos sabi ng babae, Uy, isulat mo yan. Sabi ni Doc, di ba? Baka makalimutan mo. Sabi ng lalaki, Ito naman. Kaya ko na yan. Sa kusina lang naman, di ba? Isang soft drink, sabi niya. At pumunta na siya. No? Pumunta siya ng kusina. Medyo natagalan. <laughs> But eventually, dumating na rin siya. Ang daladala niya, lo and behold, isang tasang kapeng barako. Yun ang binigay niya dun sa asawa niya. Sabi ng asawa niya, Sabi ko na nga ba mangyayari ito eh. Nakalimutan mo na naman. Tapos sabi nun nalang, oh, ano nakalimutan ko? Yung pandesal. Yung kabilin-bilinan kong pandesal. Kasama nitong kape. Ito naman. <laughs> Nakalimutin nga talaga, no? <laughs> Friends, buti na lang si Lord hindi nakakalimut. Amen? Thank God the Lord does not forget us. He has us in our mind, in His mind, and in His heart. Actually, hindi lang nga doon, sabi nga, we, He has our names written in the palm of His hands. Amen? Grabe, no? Friends, it says in Isaiah, even if a mother, even if a mother forgets her baby, I will not forget you. And so, let me encourage you, brothers and sisters, in the midst of everything that's happening now, even if we feel so much forgotten, maybe, even if we feel that we are alone, and we're in trial, we're challenged, know that the Lord hasn't forgotten you. The Lord has not forgotten us. We may not understand His ways, but we know His heart. And His heart, His sacred heart beats for us. And His heart loves us. And we can still trust Him. We can go to Him, especially now. This Holy Week, brothers and sisters, is a time of grace. It's a time of mercy. Hey, this is the reason why Jesus came. This is what we're celebrating, the love of God, the mercy of God, for God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that anyone who believes in Him will not perish but have everlasting life. Ito na yun, brothers and sisters. This Holy Week, this Palm Sunday, come to Him. He will not, He will definitely not forget you. Amen. Amen. These are the words of the Lord that He will not forget us. And talking about the word of the Lord, welcome, brothers and sisters, as we continue our feast, um, our Bible study, all right, in the Gospel of Matthew. And our series is entitled, Best 
preaching ever. It's not my preaching, it's the preaching of Jesus. Are you ready for the Word of God? Are you ready for the preaching of Jesus? Are you ready for His Spirit to come to you this special time, this special occasion of Holy Week? Let's prepare ourselves, shall we? Let us come to the Lord in worship, and to lead us in worship is no other than our care pillar head. Let us all come to the Lord in worship with our worship leader, Sister Erika Ventura. Hello, brothers and sisters. Hi, Sister Erika here. Welcome to our home. Kamusta po kayo? Kamusta kayo today? And we are so happy that you can join us here in the Feast Valle Verde Online. And I'm here to lead you to worship together with Ellie, our musical director. But first, um, feel free to comment below if you have anything that you want to share. And we are one family here and we really want to welcome you in joining us here in Feast Valley Verde Online. And kamusta po kayo? How's your family? How's the lockdown so far for you? And it's almost a month already in the lockdown and kami po dito sa bahay namin sobrang uh, di ba pag sinabing lockdown na uh, wow bakasyon yan yeah? <laughs> pero actually it's uh, opposite di ba parang here in our home sobrang naging sobrang busy yata kami kasi of course you have your work from home and then you also have to ten you have to uh, tend to your kids, I'm sure. And kami here, we have to wash dishes every day, three times a day now, wash our own clothes, which is dati, sa labas kami nagpapa laundry. So, and of course, when you go to the market, you have to wash all of your items, diba? You have to really sanitize everything. So, there's so much things that you have to do. So, baliktad, diba? Parang, teka, parang hindi to uh, bakasyon, right? So, but you know what? Uh, I know that it's so busy now, and I'm sure you have your own busyness. And one thing that I would like to encourage you is just, how do you rest, right? How do you rest? And right now, here in our worship, I just want you to just take a moment and think about where do you get your strength during these tough times? Where do you find rest? And we invite you to lay your, your body, you, um, and have rest and where do you get that from God of course to rest in God and we just want to declare that with you that God is our refuge God is our strength God is our source of power even through this these days of you know trying times so I just want to encourage you just um, enjoy the music worship God this moment and just feel him in his in your heart right now and just be there and say that Lord God, we declare that you are our refuge, you are our strength. Lord, we offer to you everything, Lord God. And so we just want to sing to you and we want to declare to the world that you are our strength.
Your power reigns above it all, above the virus, above the problems, above everything that we're going through right now, Lord. We declare and we believe that you are above all our fears, Lord God. And Lord, we just want to thank you for giving us so much blessings, even though it's such a crazy time. You know, when you think about the good things that are still happening, even though there's so many bad things. One thing is, if, if we are healthy right now, and it's a blessing, and so it's a, it's a showcase of love of God. If your family is okay, you have food to eat, then it's a blessing, then you, you just receive that. And just, I just want to invite you to, to relish that blessing that you have in your life right now. Just receive the love of God. And also, don't forget to give it back also to those who are in need, who need you, who need God in their lives. And so, I just want to invite you to worship and continue worshiping God and say that you are receiving His love at this moment. In Jesus' name, we receive your love, Jesus. We receive your kindness, your greatness, your mercy, your grace, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Your 
God. In God's presence, brothers and sisters, let us declare God's abundance in our life. Are you ready? Today, I receive all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's word so I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I am God's beloved. I am God's servant. I am God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Praise God. Friends, welcome to talk three of our series, Best Preaching Ever. And the title of our talk is no other than Salt Shakers and Lampstands. Wow, Salt Shakers and Lampstands. Wow, this series actually brothers and sisters is a deep dive into the sermon on the mount of jesus according to matthew of course so matthew just uh put here in the sermon of the mount jesus's greatest hits parang ganyan parang yan yung greatest hits ni jesus yung sermon on the mount and if you recall in the last two talks that we have had we talked about the beatitudes and also who were the audience of jesus and these were what the vips to God's kingdom. 
right? All right, as defined by the Beatitudes. Who are they? The poor, the sick, the suffering. Now, today, talk three, we will find out that these people, these powerless people who follow the Lord, these are also the people who have a very significant role, a huge role to play in the world. Are you excited? Ready? Bring out your Bibles so that we can read our word for this feast. Now, I know we flash the verses in the video, but I don't know, maybe some of you would like to highlight it in your uh, actual Bible, put some notes, all right? So that would be great if you're really studying the Bible with us. I'm going to use the New Living Translation um, Catholic Edition, all right? So you can use that or maybe use another translation. Just follow with me, more or less the same story, and let us be lightened by God's word. Are you ready? Follow me. Matthew chapter 5, verse 13 to 16. Matthew chapter 5, verse 13 to 16. You are the salt of the earth, says Jesus. But what good is salt if it has lost its flavor? Can you make it salty again? It will be thrown out and trampled underfoot as worthless. Grabe, no? He continues in verse 14. You are the light of the world, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and then puts it under a basket. Instead, a lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see so that everyone will praise your heavenly Father. Praise God. Friends, allow me to start our session with prayer. Let's come into his presence. Oh Lord Jesus, your eternal love has changed us all. And so we come to you and we resolve to carry your love, the greatest power in the universe, so that it can change the world. We carry your love to everyone we meet and we will pray and we will do what it takes so that they get all contaminated into your kingdom, Lord, by your love. Bless us today. Speak to us today. This we pray. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Praise God. Brothers and sisters, ready to continue our study? Then I'd like us to do this. Could you raise your right hand and say this with a loud voice? Are you ready? Say this. I'm a carrier. <laughs> say it. I'm a carrier. One more time. I'm a carrier. Wow. May kumakatok na ba dyan? May polis na ba? Nahahulihin ka na? O baka yung may ba, naninervous na rin. Pag may kasama ka, pakisabi sa kanya, I'm a, you're a carrier. I'm a carrier, you're a carrier. Yeah, sabihin na rin. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, kidding aside, that's also our message. Actually, that's our message for today. You and I, we are carriers. We've always been carriers. The fact that we're alive, that you are alive, then you've been a carrier. You contaminate people around you. The question is this. What are you carrying? <laughs> Yun lang nga, no? What are you carrying? Now, let me give an example. Can you imagine the happiest person that you know? You know uh, a person that's very happy? Uh, yan. Um, notice na pagkasama mo siya, masaya ka rin. Nahahawa ka, di ba? Pag alis niya, masaya ka rin, di ba? Grabe, no? Bakit? Happiness carrier siya. Yan. Yeah, no? Gets na ninyo? Happiness carrier. Oh, let's look at the, the opposite. May kakilala ba kayong palaging nagko-complain? No? Reklamador. Yan, no? So, complaining carrier siya. Siya yung taong magsasabi na, Hi, buhay. Parang life. <laughs> no, old, old joke, no? Or, you know this person, they always will complain. Subconsciously, parang... Parang itinalaga siya ng, ng Lord na mag-complain sa world. Ang feeling niya, ang mission niya sa buhay, mag-complain sa buhay. Di ba? Pansin mo, nahahawa ka rin pagkasama mo siya. Nade-depress ka rin. Or pag alis niya ng kwarto, yung mga tao na doon sa kwarto, nade-depress na rin. Di ba? They feel miserable. Alright? Or maybe you know a person is always afraid. May kakilala ba kayong ganyan? Lahat na lang, kinatakutan. No, lalo na ngayon, we have a lot of fears. We're afraid of the virus. We're afraid of um, uh, of scarcity. We're afraid of so many, many things. Oh, nahahawa tayo sa kanila, di ba? Or maybe you know a person who's very selfish. He has the virus of selfishness. He'll spread it to so many people and make them also selfish. 
The fact is this, friends. People will catch what you carry. Diba? People will catch what you carry. But the question is, what are you carrying? Now, I don't know with you, but let's say you have a friend who's always grateful. No? Do, you, do you have a friend who's always grateful? Yeah, no? Niya, for example, uh, no. um, I'm glad I got caught in traffic for three hours. <laughs> well, it's because I'm able to pray for more people. Oh, diba? Napaka-positive, napaka-grateful. Alright? Imagine, no? Tapos, parahin mo siyang kasama, na-infect ka na rin. So, such that na yung kotse mo, one time may eh, nasira, tapos sasabihin mo, I'm glad that my my car broke down. <laughs> Grabe na. Nahawa ka na rin. At sasabihin mo, well, nothing occurs without a reason. Everything happens for a purpose. Malay natin, buti na lang nasiraan ako ng kotse. Kasi kung na-drive ko yan, baka na-accidente pa ako. Diba? Pwede ganun. Tapos, nahawa ka, nahawa mo na rin ako. Imagine kung nahawa ko niyan, baka masabi ko, I'm thankful because of I'm thankful for this lockdown. Oh, wow. Grabe, no? Tapos sasabihin ko, dahil sa lockdown na ito, natuto kong magluto ng sinigang na baboy. Oh, grabe. Hindi, totoo lang po. So, uh, ngayon, at last, favorite ko kasi yung sinigang na baboy. Eh. So, one achievement, natuto akong mag- magluto niya at masarap ako akong magluto. Oh, di ba? Paminsan-minsan na lang siguro, though. But, praise God, no? I, I learned that, di ba? So, Gratitude, I could be grateful for that. Grabe, no? Ang ganda. Gusto ko tong virus na to, ha? Kung yung gra- gratitude virus, imagine, it is a positive one, it's gonna bless us. Now, friends, either positive ang virus mo or negative ang virus mo, ito na masasabi ko. This Holy Week, God is giving us a different kind of virus. Not a COVID virus, but is giving us a different kind of virus. He's asking us to trade in our viruses. Yung worry virus mo, bigay mo na lang kay Lord. Get the worship virus. Oh, di ba? No? I- 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 surrender mo na yung problem and panic virus mo kay Lord. Ibibigay niya sa iyo, praise virus. O kunin natin yung virus na ito ang pinag-uusapan natin. Get rid of your grumbling virus and get the gratefulness or the gratitude virus. Amen? And sana ma-infect natin ang buong mundo nitong positive viruses natin. But friends, don't just be a positive virus carrier. This is my recommendation for you. Are you ready? Please, be a God carrier. Yes, be a God carrier. Amen? Friends, are you ready? Let's now go through our verses passage by passage. First, Matthew chapter 5, verse 13. What does it say? You are the salt of the earth. <laughs> Friends, I'd like to share with you some pictures. Tingnan nyo nga to. Kilala nyo ba ito? Yan. Ano ang kanyang character? TV. TV series yan dati. Yan. Yan. Yung mga kapanahunan ko, alam nyo sino yan? Si MacGyver. Yan. Yung mas bata sa atin ang maalala ito. Ito, no? Yan. Yung isa kasi, si Richard Dean Anderson. Ito, si Lucas Tillian. But they are also MacGyver. So I don't know if if some people are not familiar with the TV series MacGyver. Well, this MacGyver person per, or, or character, you know, is a very intelligent guy that um, he uses um, ordinary stuff to accomplish uh, certain stunts or certain things in that series, alright? Um, dahil sa kanya, friends, I love chemistry. Yeah. <laughs> Kasi ginagamit niya ang basic chemistry para makagawa ng bomb or no, para makalaya, ha? hindi naman yung para magkagulo. Pero para makagawa ng mga bagay-bagay na nakakatulong dun sa pag-solve niya ng crime. G- ganun yung, yung context ng MacGyver. But friends, talking about chemistry, gusto niyo ba ang chemistry? Ako, I love chemistry, alright? And uh, gusto-gusto ko yung periodic table. I would, I would uh, join contest just to identify the chemical symbol of an element. Ah, yan na. Yung may iba, pinapawisan na yata. Sige nga, try nga natin. Alam nyo ba, ano ang element na ito? Ang chemical symbol niya ay PB. Yeah. PB. Hindi peanut butter yan, ha? Ano yan? It's lead. Lead. Yan. Yeah. No, ito. 
HG. Yan. HG. Ano ang HG? Hindi yan yung call center, ha? <laughs> That is Mercury. Yan. O, gawin natin mas simple. CL. Dapat alam nyo yan, ha? CL. Ano yan? Chlorine. Tama. O, ito pa. NA. Sodium. Yan. Sodium, no? O. Ito. Of course, gusto ko rin yung kinocombine. Of course, no? O, ito. Na. Siyempre, alam nyo na to. H2O. Ano H2O? Siyempre, water, no? Tubig. O, sige nga, challenge. Ito, medyo mahababa. C6, H12O6. Ano yan? C6, H12O6. Hint, we use it very often. Favorite yan ng kids. Sirit na? Sugar. <laughs> yan lang yan. Sugar, no? Ganyan. Okay? Well, ito, last na. Less complicated. Ano to? NaCl. O, oh, alam nyo na yan, ha? Kasi we already defined the elements. NaCl, which is what? Sodium chloride. Otherwise known as salt. Yeah. Oh, yun na yung connect. Yun na yung connect. Friends, why, uh, why am I saying this? Because what? In other words, salt is simpler. Alright? Salt is basic. Salt was not invented just like water no h2o simply lang um nandiyan na no one invented salt and salt is so natural it can be seen in the environment in fact like water the jews would use salt ever often for thousands of years it has been used by many civilizations for different purposes now ikayo what do you use salt for huh Do you salt for what? Of course, you use it for cooking, you use it for seasoning. All right? We're going to deal with three uses of salt. All right? How many? Three? Are you ready for the first? It's this. First, we use salt to bring out the flavor. Yeah. Do you cook? Well, all great cooks will say to you that we put salt into food, not to make the food salty, but to bring out the flavor of the salt. That's why when you put salt into the food, you should not taste the salt, but you you taste the 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 umami, <laughs> or you taste the 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 deliciousness of the salt. Grabe, nagugutom tuloy ako. Friends, this is my belief. I believe God's love is like salt. All right, because it does what salt does. It brings out the good in you. All right, all right. So when you receive God's love. All right, it brings out the real good in you. Not, do you like people to say this to you when you receive God's love? Uy, he's more religious. Mas gusto mo ba yun kaysa yung, Uy, he's a better version of himself. Oh, di ba? Di ba yung pangalawa? When you receive God's love, it's not about being religious. It's more of just being the best of who you are. Because when you receive God's love, you don't stop being you. Actually, you allow the original you, the one made in God's image, to come out. We all are made good. We all are made great. And so when we receive God's love, the original image, which is a reflection of God, comes out. The natural human life in you, as a son, as a daughter, as a husband, as a wife, maybe as a salesperson, an entrepreneur, uh, a gym instructor, or maybe... The, Whatever personality, sanguine, choleric, melancholic, phlegmatic, extrovert, introvert, funny ka, serious ka, no? uh, quiet ka, or quirky ka, whatever you already are naturally um, into, that just becomes better. Just That just becomes transformed into something more beautiful. That's the effect of God's love. Now, Malalaman mo kung kulto yung isang grupo na yan. Pag ang pinipilit nila, yung mawala kung sino ka talaga. When it lets you lose your individuality, your personality, and just become like everybody else, yung religious practices nila. Ay nako, kulto yan. Because it doesn't make you free to be who God made you. That's not God's plan. When you are hampered, God's plan is for you to be free. And that is why... I'd like to share with you one of my favorite quotes again. And this is by St. Irenaeus, 
bishop and martyr. What does he say? The glory of God is man fully alive. Amen. Are you fully alive? We all need God's love. When we receive God's love, we become the best that we can be. We become the image of God that, that He has destined or that He has made us to be. Amen? Amen. Now, friends, let me share with you um, an experience. Uh, you know, I, uh, I receive a lot of emails, okay? Uh, of course, I get it from my organization, some is for work, some for ministry, some for personal growth, right? But I do receive letters in those emails. And many of those letters are requests for prayers. They are also of stories, okay? Stories of, unfortunately, bad news. They're gonna tell me their problems and that's why they need prayer, all right? But yeah, yeah, I, I get love letters also. <laughs> but that's another topic. Okay? But aside from the sad letters that I get, I also get happy letters. Alright? Um, letters of, of answer prayer, letters of accomplishment. Pero, si Brother Bo, meron siya natanggap na letter na hindi, pa, hindi ko pa natatanggap ng ganun kagrabing letter. Alright? Um... Let me share it with you. Are you ready? All right, let me read it to you. All right, this is an amazing letter and I wish, I actually wish that I receive one very soon. Ready? Sabe, Brother Bo, I'm 28 years old. My career is skyrocketing. I'm being trained to be the next vice president of our huge company. Last year, I got married to my beautiful wife and we have a wonderful relationship. She's now pregnant and I have a great set of friends. My parents are amazing and so is my sister, who I love dearly. Everything is going well in my life. But despite all my success, deep down, I know there's something missing in my life. From the outside, I have everything, but I know I'm lacking something. What do you think is missing, Brother Bo? That was so si Brother Bo. Brother Bo said, Your material profession and relational needs, uh, I'm sorry, your material, professional, and relational needs are now met. How about your spiritual needs? Have you been meeting them? Mm. So Brother Bo then talked about Jesus and then invited this person to the feast. Grabe, no? Pwede pala yun. Ang saya ng buhay niya, no? Ang lahat, kompleto na. Pero kulang pa pala. There's something missing, even if all the areas of your life, at least all the worldly areas of your life, are fulfilled. You need something spiritual. Here's the truth. If you don't fulfill your God purpose, life is meaningless. Do you agree? Yeah? Do you agree? Yeah, life will be bland, tasteless, and boring. <laughs> You'll need salt to bring out the flavor of your life. All right? In other words, you need God's love to conquer your heart and compel you for a mission. All right? You need Jesus to bring out the real you, to bring out the real joy in you. All right? Kaya, I, I just love... Uh, this translation of the verse that I just read to you, diba ang sabi sa New Living Translation, uh, you are the salt of the earth, Matthew 5, verse 13. But don't you know, there's another translation and it is by the message, you know, and may version ng Bible na, the message, ito ang translation. And I love the translation. Let's read it. Let me tell you why you are here. You're here to be a salt seasoning that brings out the God flavors of this earth. <laughs> Grave, diba? All right? Grave, salt seasoning to bring out the God flavors of this earth. Amen. Amen. That's one of the, one of the functions of salt, to bring out the flavor. And you and I, we all are asked to bring out the God flavors of this earth. Amen? The second uh, function of salt is this, to preserve food. To preserve food. Allow me to read, to drink. Nakuhaw ako sa salt, ah. 
to preserve food. So, tama-tama, mayroong ininom na, na tubig. Kasi actually, may kinalaman yung tubig dun sa preservation. Brothers and sisters, may tanong na muna ako. Anong favorite um, home appliance niyo? What's your favorite home appliance? Aside from uh, your television. Uso pa ba ang television ngayon? And we all have our gadgets anyway. Alright? Air conditioning. Maybe. Alright? Pero ako, ang favorite ko? Ref! <laughs> of course, the refrigerator. Alright? Lalo na itong quarantine na to. Actually, I'm here in Baguio. Again, for those who don't know, I'm in Baguio. I'm quarantined away from my folks because I don't want to infect them coming from Manila. Alright? So when I came here, right, I'm so blessed because I have... A uh, refrigerator, right? Of course, all right. Imagine if I didn't have a refrigerator, I patay, patay, no? Um, lahat ng binili kong food it will go rotten unless na kainin ko lahat yun. Pero siya bra yung kung kainin lahat eh, di sa naman ng ating figure, no? Then out goes the window every chance of me of having a love life, you know. But any anyway, again, that's another story, all right. So let's get back. Well, um, brothers and sisters. I need the food to preserve. Uh, I need the ref to preserve the food. But friends, 2,000 years ago, they didn't have refrigerators. All right. How did they preserve the food? You guessed it. It's because of salt. Salt preserves food for weeks and months. Now, how does this happen? Because salt dehydrates. It is in the tubig. It's in the From the food. Okay. All right. Remember, kaya na si Sira ang, ang, ang pagkain. It's because of bacteria. Now, if you remove water from the food, then you remove the environment where bacteria thrives. Because bacteria needs water to thrive. Alright? Germs cannot grow in a highly salty environment because there's no water. Now, take note. Sin is like bacteria. Alright? It will make you sick. And ultimately, it will kill you. That's why you need to get rid of bacteria. You, get, you need to get rid of sin. And just like bacteria, where if you want to get rid of bacteria, get rid of the environment that fosters it, you get rid of the water, same thing, all right? If you want to get rid of sin in your life, all right, then you need to get out of the environments that foster sin, all right? And this is where... The, the salt thing comes in. Are you ready? This is really a Bible study. Now, how do you do that to get rid of uh, the environment where sin grows? All right? Bible scholars said that when Jesus said, you are the salt of the earth, okay, he actually was referring not to you as not addressing one person, but addressing Second person, plural. Yeah, English tayo ngayon, no? So, ang you are the salt of the earth. The you that he used is not for one person. It's for second person, plural. Now, para sa atin, for those who are so used to Western culture, very individualistic, we, we may not get that point. But, um, uh, for, for the Western person, they would think that Jesus was referring to only one person. You, Mark, you are the salt of the earth. You, uh, uh, Suzanne, you are the salt of the earth. You, Tekla, are the salt of the earth. But no. Actually, according to Bible scholars, Jesus was saying this. Church, you are the salt of the earth. You, second person, plural. If you say, sila, kayo, kayo. Ang salt of the earth. So he was not referring only to one person. He's referring to all of us. Now, friends, you don't fight sin by fighting sin. You fight sin by following God together with other God followers. That's what it means. We work together. We act together in our Christian life. We act together against sin. That's why we are salt of the earth. We cannot do this alone. We need other people to be in an environment where sin cannot thrive. Now, why is this? Because 
when we follow God, actually, that means we are born into His family. You cannot follow God alone. When you follow God, you need to follow God with who? With Peter, with Paul, with the feasters, with Brother Bo, with Brother Arun, with me. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, if we follow the Lord, you can't help, but you will be following along with the family of God. This lockdown should not stop you from praying, sharing, and doing life, not alone, but doing life with other people, with your spiritual family, like your LG. I hope you all join a life group, or with, if you're a servant, with your ministry, all right? Or you, with your, with friends, with the feast, then they're joining the, the feast here right now. You are in your spiritual family. Friends, um, use the technology. Come on. All right. More now than ever, do we need one another? We need other people. We need the church. Friends, connect with your spiritual squad. You know, my background is in psychology. We are not meant to be alone. So, in order for mental health, especially in this quarantine period, please connect with people outside. Don't isolate yourself. We're already physically isolated. Do not socially isolate. That's why we change. I think that's why uh, the World Health Organization changed it already, or the Department of of health change that term it's not social distancing it's physical distancing because social distancing is unhealthy actually we need to connect with one another so friends connect with your spiritual squad all right all right so we now go to the third use of salt and that is believe it or not to heal the sick to heal the sick all right so it's not just about food making it flavorful, preserving it. But it's also about healing the sick. Friends, have you tried putting salt on your wound? Of course not, you might say. Ang sakit no, no nga, talaga. Masakit nga siya. But don't you know, during Bible times, that's used. Don't believe me? Go to Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 4. Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 4. All right, you will see that salt was used to treat wounds. Grabe, no? To help the healing, at least. To help the healing of the wounds. And sakit siguro no, no? Friends, today, look around you. So many people have wounds, right? Many people are wounded. Many people need healing. So many people are broken today. And, you know, after knowing that fact, and being in the ministry for many years, there's one thing I'd like to share with you, and it's this. God's love is the only antidote that can heal our wounds. Yeah? So, tagal natin nagbibigyan ng retreat, ng talk, ng one-on-one, brothers and sisters, ang kailangan talaga ng tao pagmamahal ng Diyos. In the middle of all our pain, in the middle of our wounds, our sickness, we need God's love. We need God's love. But, newsflash. Do you know this? I hope you're ready for this. Newsflash. You carry the only antidote in your heart. Huh? Antidote of depression. Antidote of sickness. Antidote of these wounds. You carry it, actually. You and I, we carry the antidote in our heart. We carry God's love. We carry Jesus in our heart. Friends, say this with me. God carriers are healers. God carriers are healers. You and I, we are a God carrier. And since God is with us, then we can heal. We can heal just like salt. All right? At least in olden times, just like salt. Now, Remember, you don't work alone. No, it's not we're just a healer. Anyan, magisa, magisa mo healer ka sa labas, no? Usually, we are healers collectively. Our spiritual family becomes a healing family. It's the fountain of God's love, where where the healing of the Lord gushes forth to humanity. The church, the the spiritual family that we're all part of, is a healing family. Brothers and sisters, Jesus said this even. 
In another part, in John chapter 13, verse 35, he says this, another part of scripture, your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciples. Wow. So, yeah, we are disciples of God, of Jesus. And the evidence of that is the love that we bear for one another. And I think you will agree with me, love is healing. When you're loved, you get healed. Your spiritual family, our spiritual family, is a source of healing. And I'd like to tell you, I've been healed in many, many ways by the light of Jesus' family. So many ways. In every area where I'm a minister, uh, I'm part of, you know, when I was with campus missions, all right, and until I became a feast builder, I've been healed in many ways by different people, by my friends and, and brothers and sisters in community. I've been helped so many times. And so, friends, give yourself the opportunity to be healed by the Lord through community too. Join our LGs. Join or even lead an LG so that you be used by the Lord to heal other people. Remember, Jesus said, Church, you're the salt of the earth. Amen? Now, friends, after telling Jesus telling us that we are the salt of the earth, Jesus said another thing that's quite uh, surprising. Uh, this is what he said. He said, But what good is salt if it has lost its flavor? Can you make it salty again? It will be thrown out and trampled underfoot as worthless. Well, I don't know with you. Ako rin eh, nung una ko nabasa yan nun pa, na hindi ko maintindihan, paano yun? Tawa ko na ng, ang, ang lasa, ang salt. Eh, ako, kahit naka-preserve yan, no, ng five years na hindi ginagalaw. All right? Nawawalan ba ng salt yan? How in the world can salt lose its saltiness? All right. Do you agree? Mawawala ng saltiness pag natagalan, natenga yung salt mo sa, sa cabinet ninyo, sa, sa kitchen ninyo. I don't think so. It's still gonna be salty. All right. So how can it be thrown out and trampled underfoot? All right. It will never happen, at least for the salt that we refer to these days. No? Um... It's uh, it's possible. Uh, it's not possible now, but it's possible before. That's why Jesus is using it as an analogy, all right, for the presence of God in our life. Friends, can we lose spiritual saltiness? How can we lose spiritual saltiness? Hmm. Bakit naisip yun ni Jesus? Kasi noon, pwedeng mawala pala ang pagkaalat ng asin. <laughs> Would you believe? All right. Let me show you a picture first. You know this picture? Are you familiar with it? Hint, it's a very salty sea. You know what that is? Well, that's one of the seas in Israel. It's known as the Dead Sea. I was fortunate enough to go to the Dead Sea one time when I went to the Holy Land. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get a picture to show you. But if you'll notice, this Dead Sea, you will notice white at the edge, at the shore. Why? Because the Dead Sea is full of salt. It's really so salty. Kaya Dead Sea, kasi nga, walang nabubuhay, walang kaya mamuhay doon. Kasi napakaalat, namamatay sila. And sure enough, nung nandun ako, nung nag-float ako sa Dead Sea, because it's so dense, because of the salt, you can you can float, you know? Na, na, Napagalaw ako mabilis, biglang na, tumalansik, tumalansik dito sa uh, tumilansik pala. No? Dito sa mata ko, yung, yung tubig ay grabe, parang asido. Kasi grabe yung alat niya. The Dead Sea is so salty that there's salt crystals, salt rocks that are formed at the side. And hey, guess what? That's where... Most of the people in Israel during Jesus' time got their salt. You know, they got these rocks, these stones from the Dead Sea covered in salt. And when they're going to cook, stew, or soup, they'll just throw in that rock. And then, of course, the salt from the rock will go to the soup and make it flavorful. All right. And then after that, they will reuse it. Parang tibag, no? Ganyan, Until the time when the salt will run out from the rock. So at that time, mukhang nga, the salt ran out of saltiness. And by that time, they just throw it out and trample it 
underfoot. Do you get it? No? Kaya yun ang ginamit. Now, we, now we understand the physical explanation. So how does that connect to the meaning behind what Jesus is saying? Let's now go to a deeper question. How can we lose our spiritual saltiness? If it's true that we can lose our saltiness, how therefore can we lose that spiritual saltiness? Here's a hint. You know that people during Jesus' time, uh, they looked at the Pharisees and the Pharisees were very religious. But they couldn't see God's love anymore with the Pharisees. They couldn't see God's love with them anymore. Now, friends, we lose saltiness when we keep the form of religiosity but no longer exhibit God's love. We don't anymore love properly with God's love. Our spouse, our, hus- our, our husband or wife, our, our kids, our relatives, our friends, other people. When we lose loving but continue on with a religious way of doing things, then it's as if we have lost our saltiness. Parang ganito. Anyone here love pizza? Yeah. Let's say, nagpa-deliver ka ng pizza. Dumating yung pizza delivery boy. Nasa full full gear siya. Full, full costume or full uniform. Tapos ang ganda-ganda ng box ng pizza. Tapos pagbukas niya ng box, walang pizza. Tapos sasabihin niya, ay, sorry po, nakalimutan ko sa store. Ay, my gosh. Di ba? Useless. Useless yung patutsada niya. No? Useless yung form. Alright? Kung wala naman pizza. Friends, that's exactly what happens when religious people don't shine God's love to the world. Para silang walang pizza. <laughs> wala silang pizzazz. <laughs> Ganyan, walang pizza. Wala kasi yung pinagmumulan talaga ng religious behavior, which is supposed to be God's love. Amen? Alright? Now, this is the whole thing about salt that Jesus said. We didn't end there. There's still a latter part of the verse. What Jesus said, you are the salt of the earth. But he also said, what? You are the light of the world. Brothers and sisters, there are two illustrations of light that he said. First, city on the hilltop. All right? Because he said, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. That we are light of the world, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. Now, understand, friends, 2,000 years ago, wala pang street light. Wala mga neon-neon lights paggabi. Paggabi, aside from the stars, wala na. So kung wala kang torch, wala kang ilaw, alright, it's very dark. Now, imagine if you are traveling from Galilee to Judea. That's a three-day travel through the wilderness and it's pitch dark, alright? You're walking at the night, pitch black darkness of the night, and then suddenly... You see the city of Jerusalem glowing on top of Mount Zion because of all the torches, because of all the the lights that they have, the lanterns that they have. Wow. You can just imagine. It should be a wonderful sight, a breathtaking sight. Diba? Now, friends, many people, they are traveling in darkness right now. Many, yes? Would you agree? Many are in darkness. Now, God, in this talk, He's telling you and me, He wants us, He wants you to be light. To be light of the world. To be light to these people who are walking in darkness. The second illustration, aside aside from a city on a hill, is this. That we are light of the world like a lamp on a lampstand. A lamp on a lampstand. No one lights a lamp and then puts it under a basket, sabe. Instead, the lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everyone in the house. Wow. Friends, both illustrations of the city on the hill or the lamp, what does it all pertain to? It refers to what? Notice, lahat yun? Nasa taas. It refers to elevation. It refers to elevation. Brothers and sisters, has God elevated you? Has God elevated you? Has He promoted you? Friends, understand this. When God allows you to go to a higher level, if He lets you go to a higher level, if He promotes you maybe in a job or moves you apart in society, understand this is not for your ego, it's not for your praise, it's not for your benefit. It's what? For the benefit of the kingdom. His kingdom. 
it's for the benefit of God's kingdom. Only one purpose why He allows us all to be elevated, if ever. And what is that? It is this, to shine God's love. To shine God's love. Friends, remember, God brings you higher only so that you can serve better. doesn't give you a higher position or a leadership position for you. No, no, no. It's all so that we can serve better. Got that? Friends, remember, when a lamp shines, all right, when it shines its light, its light understand that it consumes itself. It burns oil to keep the flame going, right? Now, Ubos, just like a candle also, when it, when it has a flame, it, it melts. Shining God's love, friends, involves self-sacrifice. And that's what God is calling us to. It's the only way. Now, you might be saying, Brother Jay, I can't do this. You know, I can't do this. Well, friends, guess what? You're right. You can't do this. You and I, we can't just do this. So what's the solution for this? Let me share it with you. In Matthew, Jesus said this, You are the light of the world. That's in Matthew. But don't you know, in John, he says this, I am the light of the world. Whoa. Friends, the only reason why you and I can be light of the world, it's because the real light of the world is already in us. The real light of the world, believe it or not, is in you, brother, is in you, sister. Jesus is in you. And because he is in you, the light of the world, then you can also be the light of the world. Friends, be a God carrier. Be a God carrier. I'd like to end our talk, friends, with this story. And I think some of you know this story already. Take a deep breath. In the midst of this COVID challenge and COVID tragedy for many people in the world, we see the light of Jesus shining. We see salt flavoring something happening outside. We see God carriers pointing us to Jesus. This is the story of Father Giuseppe Berardelli. And he is a 72-year-old priest. And we know he gave up his respirator for someone he didn't know, someone younger. And ladies that I know, he died and when his coffin was being moved out or being translated, people on the streets started clapping. For this 72-year-old priest who gave up his life for someone else. By the way, there was no funeral. But look at his smile. He was uh, described as someone who always listens. Very good personality. And at 72, even if he was actually awarded or given his own respirator by the community that he ministered to, he decided not to use his respirator and give it to someone younger whom he didn't know. Talk about love. It said in the post, greater love has no person than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. That's John 15, verse 13. Brothers and sisters, that's the light, that's the salt that Father Giuseppe Berardelli gave to the world. And what an example of love, of selfless love. Brothers and sisters, our prayer is that we get that love from God. Because we cannot do it alone. Father couldn't have done it alone if he did not receive it from God. If he didn't get the grace from God. He was a smiling priest, obviously. <laughs> and friends, 
let us get the virus from God. Let's get this love, this joy, this blessing, this power from the Lord. Amen? Let's ask the Spirit to come and revive our faith, to be strong amidst everything that's happening, and be a light to people. Be salt to the earth for those people who are downtrodden already, who has lost salt in life, who has lost light in life. Let us be salt to them. Let us be light to them. In the midst of the bitterness and the darkness we have, let us be salt and light. Will you say yes, brothers and sisters? Will you be a God carrier moving forward? Amen? If you say yes, then let's come before God in worship, brothers and sisters, and let us come with this prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord Jesus, you are our Savior, our Healer, our Lord. Send forth your Spirit upon us right now to purify and renew us, to become your salt and your light to the world. O Holy Spirit, come, increase our faith, increase our love, rekindle God's holy fire in our hearts, our families, our feast, and also our lives. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us worship the Lord.
Amen, amen. Lord God, we thank you, Lord, for all the blessings, all the teachings, all the messages that you've given us today. And thank you, Lord, for using Brother Jay in giving your word today. And Lord, we, we just want to pray that you guide us as we become salt of the earth and light of the world so that we may spread your word to others, so we may be a source of light and saltiness in the world, Lord God. And may we be just like you. May we follow your footsteps. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen and amen. Still with the spark of the Spirit in our hearts, brothers and sisters, let's lift up to God our dreams, shall we? If you have your novena to God's love, just raise it up. If you don't have, just have it, just raise your hands. Let me pray with and for you. Lord God, we come to you with all our dreams right here, right now, Lord, knowing that every dream you put in our heart has a purpose. And so please bless us so that we may do everything that is needed, Lord, every day so that our dreams will be fulfilled. And so with your grace, with your blessing, we declare that all our dreams will come true in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Then in the Father, and Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Praise God. Praise God. Friends, were you blessed today? Were you blessed um, in this special Palm Sunday feast that we have, dear God carriers. Yes? Amen. Friends, if you'd like us to continue our online presence, then I'd like to invite you to continue your giving. Friends, we may be um, already in quarantine and uh, if before we had our envelopes ready, giving to the Lord, now we have our cell phones ready. <laughs> because you can, we can give still online. Get ready for giving through online transfers to these banks that are flashed on your screen, Union Bank and BPI. Please don't forget to email us a copy of your deposit slip at yourfamily at feastvalleverde.com so we can send you back our heartfelt gratitude and of course a copy of your official receipt. Please feel free to get a screenshot of the details. Last week, we launched hashtag the Feast Little Acts of Love. This is our COVID-19 fundraising drive with the other Feasts of the World. And um, latest news, no? Um, in our district, ah, by the way, side note, our district uh, has an official name, you know, it's quite long. It is South Quezon City, San Juan, and Pasig District. But now we can just call it by a nickname, a shorter name, which is Feast Ortigas District, all right? So, pag sinabing Feast Ortigas District, that refers to us, South Quezon City, San Juan, and Pasig District. Now, friends, our district, all right, through this, um, the Feast Little Acts of Love, was able to give um, various hospitals and individuals snacks, packed meals, and medical supplies uh, so far, all right, um, since last week and I think the other week pa. So, brothers and sisters, thank you so much for your contribution, especially if you have given already um, earlier. Thank you so much. So please, um, if you haven't yet, we encourage you. We encourage you to give. And even if you have, if you you can still give, um, if you're being blessed more, then above your tithes and above your love offerings, we invite you to donate to the Feast Little Acts of Love, your bank deposit, all right? Um, uh, you can get the details as flashed right now on your screen. Please send those those photos or your deposit photos of a deposit slip to feastpassing secretariat at gmail.com. Again, to distinguish, if what you gave is your tithe and love offering, please email the deposit slip or a picture of that online transfer to your family at feastvalleverde.com. However, if your donation is to the Feast Little Acts of Love, email feastpassing secretariat at gmail.com. So these details are also in the caption of this post so that you won't get lost. Friends, we'd like to pray for you and um, we just praise God because 
we have received your prayer requests and also your thanksgiving requests because you filled up the form. If you want to forward your, your prayers, your requests, and your thanksgiving prayers, please fill up the form on our website, www.feastvalleyverde.com slash prayer dash request. You can put there your requests for prayers and also for thanksgiving. We are praying right now for a particular request and maybe we can pray for them right now. All right. In the name of the Father, Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord God, we pray for a continued safety of loved ones and frontliners, Lord God, um, against the COVID-19 virus. Protect all our loved ones. Protect these frontliners, Lord God. In Jesus' name, Lord. We also pray for those who are due to give birth, Lord God. We pray for these mothers. Mothers, we pray for your blessing upon Sister Diane Malake, Sister Joan Kabibihan, and Sister Yosha Bienvenida. Please, Lord, bless them. Grant them good health. And especially for their babies also, blessing for their husbands, their caretakers, and um, especially when they go to their checkup, to their hospitals, that they may be safe. Brothers, uh, Lord God, we pray for our brothers and sisters who uh, are also helping them, their, their relatives, and of course, the medical people who are helping all of these um, would-be giving birth mothers, Lord God. We pray for your blessing upon their doctors, their OBs, and also the nurses, all those who are attending and helping them. In Jesus' name, amen. Lord, we also pray, Lord, for all our senior citizens, for their well-being, those who are sick with cancer, dementia, undergoing dialysis, and experiencing anxiety. We pray, Lord, that you will just heal them, bless them, and... Um, um, supply for their needs, Lord. We pray for a strong mind and body, for financial provision, for their medical needs, for comfort and strength uh, for them and also for those who take care of them, Lord. All of these we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Praise God. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And friends, allow us to share with you also and uh, praise God also at the same time the good news because God is a God of answered prayer. We thank God for, first of all, the gift of technology, right? We thank, uh, we thank God that we are able to connect and one of our um, feasters say that uh, I'm able to regularly meet with my Feast Barcada or Light Group through video calls. One time we even prayed the rosary together online. So praise God, you know. And friends, our co-servant, Sister Avik Nakuda, is healed, uh, all right? Um, or at least in the process of healing already. We, we thank God that she is safe from harm already. All right. Um, praise God. She's discharged from the hospital and uh, her pneumonia is cured already. Uh, uh, there are favorable results for her sugar um, level and infections and there's no need for dialysis already. She's, uh, she just needs properly uh, proper medication. All right. So um, we're also thankful thankful that God has provided for her financial needs, all right? Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. We also have another servant who had mild symptoms of sore throat and chills, but praise God, she's healthy now, excited and full of hope and gratitude, all right? Friends, thank you so much for sending us your prayers. Keep sending them to www.feastvalleyverde.com slash prayer dash request, all right? Just assure that our prayer teams are praying for you. Now, friends, we are still in the period of Lent, though it's the last week of Lent, and especially we are asked to pray, to give, and to fast. And so if you're not yet familiar with how fasting is, we would like to give you our free fasting manual for the Holy Week. This is the free fasting manual available at www.feast.com ph slash five day fast rather all right so that's www.feast.ph slash five day fast 
Fasting is uh, our practice in our faith and I, I tell you, it's a wonderful experience. At the beginning, maybe adjusting pa tayo, kaya nga may manual para malaman natin kung paano. But you know, when we do this, we come closer to the Lord, let's be intentional with our fast. Yeah, pwedeng mawala ng, ng, ng pounds ng konti, pero ang mas importante, yung intention natin na maging mas malapit kay Lord. We use it also to to really um, come closer to God and and I mean to come closer to him by giving us giving him also our petitions in a very special way so we can pray for those who are uh, sick now those the COVID-19 patients those who are taking care of them the frontliners let's let's put that as our intention for the fast all right we can pray for that we can use it also for penance um, fasting is a is a very special practice and so you have the manual use it amen friends also we have our 40 day online lenten retreat we have daily reflections available for you so you can just go to www.feastvalleybetter.com slash embrace 2020 to avail of our reflections on lent all right i'm also part of that so thank you for those who've been joining us already so far now, we here at the Feast Ortigas District would like to host a special online Stations of the Cross this coming April 9, Monday, Thursday at 4 p.m. at www.facebook.com slash Feast Ortigas District. That's our district Facebook page. Now, friends, what's in store also for the Triduum this Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, Black Saturday, and also Easter Sunday, brothers and sisters, as a whole feast family throughout the world. The Rescued Online Holy Week Retreat and Easter Feast this April 9 to 11, 2020, Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, and Black Saturday from 9 to 11 a.m. On April 12, that's Easter Sunday, we will start with Mass. So our session will be an hour earlier at 8 a.m. and shall finish still at 11 a.m. So take note of where you will go so that this Triduum will really be a blessed experience for you. Go to www.facebook.com slash thefeastofficial or to www.youtube.com slash feastofficial. TV official. I'll see you there in this rescued online Holy Week retreat. Friends, all these Holy Week resources are available for free, so please be sure to get the updates from the various social media platforms that I've given you. For parents out there, we have good news, all right? For those who have kids, parents, and guardians, the awesome kids ministry, our ministry for kids, our feast ministry for kids, is also holding online sessions. There are online sessions. So please go to our district Facebook page and be updated with our weekly schedules. Again, www.facebook.com slash Feast Ortigas District. Our awesome kids online classes, this will be where our children will have their own kiddie version of the feast topics through art, through song, through dance, more fun activities. No, It's prepared by our teachers and also our parents. We encourage you, dear guardians, dear parents, to have your kids join this awesome kids online class after you have attended our grown-up sessions of the feast. So after the session, our online community managers will be posting the link that you can go to so that your kids may join the awesome kids class. Friends, we will again resume our live uh, feast only when they raise up the the quarantine, if it's lifted up already, but I don't know when that will be. Till then, brothers and sisters, we will be meeting together online. So please like our Facebook page and subscribe to our website. Um, keep in touch, join the LGs through an online LG, um, communicate with one another, do online one-on-ones, online love someone today. Let's keep in contact. If you want to join a ministry, you want to join a light group, just please message us in our Facebook page, at our uh, Feast Valley Verde page, and we will let you join us. Friends, this uh, message that the Lord gave us today, 
that we are God carriers, let's do it. Let's start with our families, families that's, that's where we are. And then let's also start spreading the virus of God's love and, and God's presence through online connections also. Shall we? Friends, remember, you are a God carrier. I will see you next week. Till then, have a wonderful Holy Week and see you in Easter. Advance. Happy Easter, everybody. God bless you.